Hi guys, it's Echo here with Recon Reality. So I have a situation. I have three tiny baby mice. Um, they're super, super teeny, teeny, teeny. And I'm gonna set these guys down real quick. I'm up in my daughter's room because my dog doesn't have access up here. I just got home from work. Um, and I'm trying to get these guys ready to go for a first feeding. So to give you guys the story real quick, yesterday I was at work and I work in this huge warehouse. And in this warehouse, there are um, cabinets and there was a bag in there with some clothes. So my boss and I went out there to go through these clothes and we opened the cabinet, everything's fine, take the bag out and then I pick up a shirt and plop. And I look down and there's this little teeny, teeny, tiny baby mouse. I was like, oh my gosh. So we go through the rest of the bag very, very carefully and we find only two more. So as little as they are and as nervous as I was, because I really don't know what to do. Um, I like rodents. I had a pet rat once, but nowhere near the small. I called a good friend of mine who's an animal habitat rehabilitator. Um, she said that, you know, basically I just need to make sure that I can keep them warm, try to keep them safe. So what I did yesterday was I put them in like a box, uh, to where mom could still get in there, made a little bit of bedding. And then I ended up putting, um, a tortilla chip and some lettuce and cheese in there, hoping that would get the mom to come back and then maybe take care of the babies. So I checked on them this morning. Babies were in the same spot. None of the food had been touched. None of like mama's droppings or anything were around them. So then today before I left for work, I went and checked again. I'm like, you know what? Like these guys aren't looking as good. This, this, and this. I watched two YouTube videos. Um, basically what my setup here is right now and there's my daughter. <laughs> um, I have some Pedialyte, I have some Q-tips, uh, some paint brushes, um, I have two little areas, and one of the things I read on Google, actually, is that one of the best formulas for them is goat's milk. Well, oddly enough, I know a guy, and I have unpasteurized goat's milk, but what the video said is that I need to use Pedialyte first to get those electrolytes in them, and then you have to massage their bellies so that they can, you know, get their uh, bowels continue to move and keep them very, very clean. So like I said, um, if anybody has any suggestions, any help, any anything that you can uh, assist me with, please comment on this video so that I'll know for later. I'm going to be feeding them every two hours. Um, and then tomorrow, whenever I go to work, Sarah's going to be there. Um, she's already seen them. I told her that I was going to take them tonight. This is going to be kind of our thing. I don't know how our shifts are going to work, especially with it being Thursday and the weekend coming up tomorrow. But uh, along with my boss and family and everybody else, a lot of people think that I'm nuts right now, but it's a living creature. They're just so freaking adorable. They're so helpless. I'm just trying to do anything that I can do for a chance at survival. I've already kind of prepared the kids of, hey, the, the chance isn't, you know, very likely. And this isn't the best setup that I have for my camera right now at all. But uh, sorry for the instability. We're going to try. So um yeah so it's not a good chance for them right now um i'm feeling pretty bad for the little guys and i'm just gonna do whatever it is that i can do and we're gonna pray for the best expect the worst and um yeah that's where we're at so we're gonna do this feeding um they're just so tiny i have a heating pad to be able to keep them warm uh yeah, we're just going to kind of see how this goes. They kind of squeak and chirp a little bit. They're very, they don't have their eyes fully open yet. Um, but they are moving quite a bit. And so if you guys want to see this little guy, look at this. I mean, just so tiny, so helpless, so adorable. So what the lady on the video was doing was she was taking a very fine tip paintbrush, dipping it in the Pedialyte and they're able to kind of suckle on that. And you can kind of hear them suckling and opening their mouth whenever I hold them. But you have to be like really, really careful that you don't get it in their nose because that can kind of drown them actually because they're just so tiny and they can't clear that nasal cavity. So it seems to be working all right for a second here. I'm trying to get to where you guys can see. I was just in such a rush to get them home and get something in them. I 
And it seems to be taking the Pedialyte right now, you guys. Very, very wiggly, though. Let me see if I can't turn around like this so you guys can see a little bit better. So we're getting a little bit in there. Its mouth is kind of moving around. It's just so, 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 so tiny. And I want to get as much enum as it will possibly let me right now. And then I'll wipe its mouth off with a dry Q-tip. Make sure none is on or around its nose. I'll get its two other little brothers or sisters. And then, like I said, with the massaging of the belly, that's just like what I've learned so that their um, bowels can move and you have to keep them very, very clean. Um, there is a couple with a few little teeny tiny blackish brown spots on it. So anyway, that is what we're up to tonight. Like I said, um, if anybody can give me some advice. Um, if you think I'm crazy, I really don't need to hear from you right now. I love most uh, animals more than I do most people. No, oh, come here, little guys. Okay. Um, so, yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and hop off now and focus on this. Um, Sarah and I are going to do another feeding tomorrow in the morning. And then, like I said, while I'm doing my job in my warehouse. Buddy, get out real quick. Sorry. Child number two. Uh, while I'm doing my job in my warehouse, um, Sarah's going to be babysitting these little guys throughout the day, so she may be going live too. Um, yeah, so like I said, I'm just looking for help. I'm looking for information. I'm looking for comments, and I'm just trying to do whatever it is that I can do for these little guys right now. So, hey, this is Echo with Recall Reality. Sorry, this is a weird, random, crazy video. Um, I'm literally holding like maybe a week old mouse. I don't even know. Um, but I'll be taking some pictures too. Maybe we can insert those later on. Just wish us luck and any advice would be great. Thanks. Bye.